YouTube hikers are responsible for all the garbage and trash and tagging with spray paint and all that crap on the trails. At least that's what some people think. First, I want to just say this one thing about that. Are you freaking kidding me? A recent discussion I had with a YouTube viewer, they had brought up their opinion that the reason for all the destruction and overcrowding on trails and the garbage being left there and people spray painting, tagging rocks and trees and basically all the vandalism and crap was due to social media, namely YouTube creators, those of us that create videos in the outdoors, on trails, etc. Now, I'm not sure I agree 100% with that philosophy, maybe a little bit, but to blame YouTube creators and social media for all of the crap that's going on right now, uh, no, I, I, I'm not buying it. I think that's totally bogus, to be honest with you. Personally, I think the biggest problem and the biggest reason for the decline we have on our trails and park systems and the destruction that's going on is a lack of respect and a lack of accountability. You know, I try real hard to stay away from politics on my channel. I don't feel it has my particular channel. It has, it's not political. It doesn't have, that's not what I want it to be. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, politics don't belong on the trail either. So this really, this video is not really about politics, but a, a mindset, if you will. Anyways, that being said, it's a common sense issue or a lack thereof common sense issue. All right, personally, I have found <clears throat> that the majority of garbage and trash is within the first quarter mile of the trailhead or at the trailhead or even within a quarter mile of the trailhead on the trail itself. Why that is, I have no idea. People, I guess it's the day trippers that go in and just go in for a short period of time, dump their garbage and leave. I've also found that the majority of garbage and vandalism is it, it's, it's close to recreation areas that are it's 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 in recreation areas that are close to large metropolitan areas now i'm not saying all city folk are pigs can, can you say pigs seems to me that there is an effort by PETA to reduce using animal names in an insulting manner as it's offensive to the animals and it perpetuates speciesism Really? Is that really something? All right, well, let's get back on track here. <laughs> Social media and YouTubers and specifically being responsible for all of the damage and all of the vandalism that's being created out in our backcountry and our recreation areas is like blaming a kayak user and his plastic kayak that's made out of petroleum products for an offshore oil rig spill that they had no control over. Get my point? In the last year, outdoor recreation has grown exponentially. It's just blown out of control. I don't have any specific numbers, but just drive up into the woods and look at the, where's my hat? Um, look at the trailheads, look at the trails, look at the parking lots. They're absolutely packed, even on non-holidays. Personally, I believe that the biggest contributing factor of this is the lockdowns. Um, you know, we haven't been able to do anything for the last year. Well, sporadically, we're given crumbs, but you know, I mean, let's look at it realistically. Movie theaters, sporting events, concerts, swimming pools, casinos, um, both indoor and outdoor sporting events, racetracks, going to the beach. Even trails were closed for a short period of time. Well, I don't know. Some areas are still closed. Therefore, it, I mean, it only suffices to say that people were gonna look for other options to recreate. It makes sense, right? So what better place than the outdoors? Well, apparently the thought process of this viewer was that because hikers were posting, or should I say YouTubers, YouTube hikers, hiking YouTubers, or whichever way you wanna 
say that because we were posting stuff on the web and on YouTube, we are the ones responsible for all of the damage. Okay, let's just say for instance, that is the reason. Uh, more public awareness of our outdoor facilities, our trails, our campgrounds, our dispersed camping, fishing, hiking, hunting, all of that has become come to the forefront. Does that mean the National Park Service and the US Forest Service need to pull down their websites and not post where their recreation areas are or their trails and the condition of those trails and whether they're open or not? Should Amazon, REI, and Barnes & Noble pull all of their hiking and trail books and their backcountry books off their shelves because it's, well, promoting vandalism and garbage dumping? Are they not responsible as well? The viewer also wrote that we as creators are responsible for promoting and teaching Leave No Trace to everybody who walks out in the woods. Okay, I, I agree to that to an extent, to an extent. Nevertheless, when did those of us who create videos, either professionally or amateurly, become the babysitters and responsible for those irresponsible people that enter the woods and the ones that are uneducated? Personally, I have called out people who have violated the leave no trace, um, have, have violated fire regulations during high fire season, things like that. But let's face it, in this day and age, you could be putting yourself at risk if you confront someone, even, even in a peaceful manner and an unassuming manner in the woods and suffer harm or even bodily harm or even worse. Am I wrong? I could go on for hours on this subject, but I think you get the gist of my rant. I'm not minimizing the BS and the damage and the vandalism, and the garbage dumping that's going out on our trails and out in our back country. But let's face it, they're becoming pig pens. I think we can all do our part to help mitigate the damage that's going on out there. But are YouTubers solely responsible, or should I say, is social media social, uh, social media solely responsible for this? I, no, it's not. And to assume that's just plain wrong. There's just, you know, personally, I think there's just way too much of the blaming crap that's going on in our lives these days in all aspects of our lives and our social social aura bubble that we're that we're currently in anyways i've been doing these videos uh in my truck and at home because my foot is still in a walking boot i can't do any hiking yet i do get gus out we walk around a little bit in some of my videos you've seen me outside um but we're coming along it's healing i got another three weeks in this boot actually march 1st i start physical therapy with a ankle brace not an ankle bracelet as i have said in a few of my other videos I just don't want to push it too far and drag the recovery out too far. Well, that's it. Uh, leave a comment down below. Like I said, um, you know, that I'm pretty passionate about this. I do agree. We can all be a little bit more respectful when we're out on the trail. The leave no trace policy is something that, you know, I agree with all of it. Well, 99.9% .9 of it anyways. Um, you know, we can all do our part. Be careful if you're going to confront people out there. It's a dangerous time for a lot of people. Uh, the woods are a place where you don't get readily pr protection, if you will. Well, that's the end of this video. Go ahead and give it the thumbs up, the thumbs down. Smash that like button, you know, whatever way you want to do it. And, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Kick that... How's my hat? hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because you're gonna want to not miss any of our videos it's snowing out here i live in the pacific northwest and this is a rare occasion for us so of course i'm in my boot right down there <laughs> i'm not gonna do a whole lot in it i might take gus out for a little walk but hey leave a comment down below regarding this particular subject because i know it's it's probably pretty sensitive or not sensitive, but it's a passion of a lot of people and it may strike a chord. Let me know what you think. Good, bad, or indifferent. And you know what? Share this video. Share it on some of your social media, maybe on some hiking pages or whatever, and, and maybe we can get some feedback on that and just what people think. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. It's the moment my life